Australia, is a land that ignites the imagination. When you think of this vast country, images of bustling Melbourne, the sunny Gold Coast, iconic Sydney, or perhaps Perth might spring to mind. But not today, my friends. Today, we venture into the heart of Australia's over two and a half million kilometers of vast space to discover a majestic and mysterious place called the Mighty Outback. Imagine a place where the horizon stretches into eternity and the red earth whispers stories of ancient times. Can you picture it? Here in the outback, you can drive for days without encountering another soul. A land where kangaroos, camels, emus, and dingoes roam free, each calling this expanse home. The outback, a sacred expanse to the indigenous peoples, cradles the footsteps of their ancestors and resonates with their enduring spirit. It's also home to the largest camel population outside the Middle East and boasts a dingo fence, that structure so vast that it rivals the great fortifications of history. Embark with us on a journey to encounter the Outback's unique wildlife. Our journey begins at one of Australia's magnificent waterfalls, Mitchell Falls. Located in the Kimberley region of Western Australia, this multi-tiered cascade has been sculpted from centuries of sandstone erosion. The water collects in a deep emerald pool, Known as Punami Unpu to the Wunambal people, it's a place of profound cultural significance and remote beauty. Australia is home to some of the most stunning waterfalls. For instance, Mitchell Falls in Western Australia is a multi-tiered waterfall with deep emerald pools. You can capture the cascading waters and the vibrant contrast against the red rocks. Adding to the gorgeous scene, the deep red cliffs framed and contrasted with the white of the plunging Mitchell River. Plus, the fact that nature dominated out in this remote part of the Australian outback further assured us that beautiful places like this do indeed exist. However, you definitely had to earn your visit. Indeed, you either had to go on a rough, two-day four-wheel drive adventure or be prepared to empty your wallet and do a day trip with a chopper and hike to this waterfall, a true testament of nature's marvels in the wilderness of the remote Kimberleys. Fortunately, we chose the virtual option and the adventure richly rewarded us with an unforgettable experience among unforgettable scenery. Our journey continues along the Dingo Fence, one of the world's longest structures, stretching an astonishing 5,614 kilometers. It starts from Jim Boar on the Darling Downs near Dalby in Queensland and stretches through the harsh, arid lands of Central Australia. The fence ends at the cliffs of the Nullarbor Plain near Nundru, above the Great Australian Bight. Now you may ask this question, what is the purpose of its primary purpose is to exclude dingoes from the southeastern part of the continent to protect sheep flocks? The concept of a pest exclusion fence was born out of necessity in the 1860s and 1870s as sheep farming became a major industry in Australia. The economic impact of dingo predation on sheep prompted the government and farmers to invest in this extensive fencing project. The Dingo Fence is one of the longest structures in the world, longer than the Great Wall of China. Maintenance of the fence is a continuous effort, requiring regular inspections and repairs to ensure its effectiveness. The fence crosses diverse landscapes, from fertile farmland to the arid outback, making its maintenance a complex task. The Dingo Fence is a significant feature of Australia's agricultural landscape, showcasing human ingenuity in the face of environmental challenges. While it has succeeded in mostly protecting livestock, it also highlights the complex balance between human activities and wildlife management. Next up, camels. Did you know that the Australian outback is home to the largest feral camel population outside the Middle East? That's right, these desert wanderers have an incredible story to tell. Back in the 19th century, camels were introduced to Australia from the Arab Peninsula. Why, you ask? Well, their incredible mobility and endurance made them perfect for exploring the vast, arid deserts of Australia. Fast forward to today and these camels have become an integral part of the Australian desert ecosystem. They've adapted so well that Australia's feral camel population is now the largest of its kind outside the Middle East. Here's a fun twist. Saudi Arabia, known for its rich camel culture, is importing camels from Australia. Why? because the Australian camels are closer to the original breeds than those found anywhere else in the world. Talk about coming full circle. These amazing creatures not only symbolize the adaptability of nature, but also highlight the fascinating connections between continents and cultures. So next time you think of camels, remember their epic journey from the Arab Peninsula to the Australian outback and back again. The iconic Uluru, or Ayers Rock, looms large in the outback. 
This massive sandstone monolith is sacred to the indigenous Anangu people. This massive sandstone monolith is a natural wonder with a deep culture that is sacred to the indigenous Anangu people and geological significance. Standing 348 meters high, Uluru is not just a giant rock. It's an inselberg, meaning island mountain. It's a geological marvel that has stood tall for over 500 million years, weathering the test of time and elements. But Uluru is more than just a natural wonder. It's a sacred site for the indigenous Anangu people, who have lived here for thousands of years. For the Anangu, Uluru is a place of deep spiritual significance, home to ancient stories and traditions. You can find ancient rock art in Uluru that tells the stories of the Anangu's Chukurpa, or Dreamtime, the foundation of their culture and laws. Each mark and carving has a story, passed down through generations. One of the most mesmerizing features of Uluru is its ability to change colors. As the sun moves across the sky, Uluru transforms from ochre to burnished orange and fiery red. It's a sight that leaves every visitor in awe. Visiting Uluru is a humbling experience. It's important to respect the wishes of the Anangu people by not climbing the rock and by appreciating its beauty and significance from designated areas, Uluru is a testament to the natural world's beauty and the rich cultural heritage of the Anangu people. It's a place where nature and spirituality intertwine, creating a unique and unforgettable experience. Next up is the dingo, an Australian wild dog. These ancient canines are found all over the mainland and are masters of adaptability. From dense forests to arid deserts, dingoes thrive in diverse habitats. They play a crucial role in the natural ecosystem, helping to control populations of other animals and maintaining balance in their environment. Known for their distinctive howls, dingoes are highly social animals. They communicate within their packs using a variety of sounds, and their complex social structures are key to their success in the wild. Dingoes are a testament to the adaptability and resilience of wildlife. They remind us of the delicate balance of nature and the important roles every species plays. Moving on, next on our list is the emus. Emus, also known as Dromaeus novae hollandii, are true adventurers, thriving across various habitats in Australia, from dense forests to open savannas and even the arid outback. Moreover, you might be wondering if emus and ostriches are closely related, the answer will shock you. No, they are not closely related. The two animals share many physical characteristics such as broad eyes and are both members of the retique group of large flightless birds that are scattered throughout the southern hemisphere, including Africa. But wherever you go, you might just spot one of these distinctive birds. These birds can sprint up to 50 kilometers per hour, have brown feathers with long necks and legs, and can reach up to 1.9 meters, 6 feet 3 inches in height. In the wild, they can live for between 10 and 20 years. Research shows that emus can live for up to two months without solid food, making them perfect as livestock. Though they can't fly, emus make up for it with their impressive speed. These birds can sprint up to 50 kilometers per hour. That's like running a marathon in just under an hour. Incredible, right? Emus aren't just about speed. They have a rich social life and are known for their strong family bonds. These unique adaptations help them survive and thrive in the diverse Australian landscape. From their incredible speed to their nurturing nature, emus are a testament to the wonders of the natural world. Lastly, the formidable wedge-tailed eagles. These are Australia's largest birds of prey, and their territory expands all the way to Papua New Guinea and the surrounding islands. This bird is one of the biggest eagles in the world. Their impressive wingspan and hunting prowess make them interesting subjects for your nature and travel content. Wedge-tailed eagles are known for their impressive hunting prowess. They soar high above the landscape, using their keen eyesight to spot prey from great distances. Watching them dive and strike is just awesome to watch. With wingspans that can reach over 2.5 meters, 8 feet, these majestic birds dominate the skies. Their powerful talons and sharp beaks make them formidable hunters capable of taking down prey as large as kangaroos. Wedge-tailed eagles are also known for their incredible speed, diving at over 80 kilometers per hour, 50 miles per hour to catch their prey, making them a great contender with the might of the African martial eagle and the stellar sea eagles. If you want to know more about these two beautiful birds mentioned, go check out the Kings of the Skies video, I will put the link in the description for you. Now here are some fun facts for you. Did you know that the wedge-tailed eagle's scientific name is Aquila audax, which means bold eagle? 
It's a fitting name for such a daring and impressive hunter. These eagles play a crucial role in the ecosystem by controlling the population of smaller animals and scavenging carrion, which helps keep the environment clean. Observing their behavior in the wild can offer valuable insights into the delicate balance of nature. Their striking appearance, with dark brown plumage and a distinctive wedge-shaped tail, makes them easily recognizable and admired among birdwatchers and nature enthusiasts. The remarkable wildlife of the outback completes our journey. Dingoes, Australia's wild dogs, are essential to the ecosystem, regulating animal populations. Emus, capable of sprinting up to 50 kilometers per hour, thrive across diverse habitats and are renowned for their strong family bonds. Wedge-tailed eagles, Australia's largest birds of prey, rule the skies with their impressive wingspan and hunting prowess, maintaining nature's balance. In conclusion, the Australian outback is a realm of astonishing beauty and mystery where nature and culture intertwine. From the cascading waters of Mitchell Falls to the sacred grounds of Uluru, from the diverse wildlife that calls this vast expanse home, the outback offers a journey into the essence of Australia that is truly unforgettable. Continue exploring, marveling over nature and traveling. Until then, see you on the next one and thank you for your time.